to another vlog i literally just came home from work so we just had jamaican food and wendy's so i'm about to clean all this up but i am about to go to home goods and marshall's you want to know why i'm about to show you guys what the foyer look like and we're about to see if we can find something to style this table real quick so let me turn you guys around all right guys here's the table I'm obsessed with the table. I absolutely love the table. This is a 48 inch table and um, it's not too small. It's not too big. Absolutely love it. I love the way it looks with the rug. I absolutely love this. This is what sold me on the table was I wanted a pedal stool table, but I didn't want just the regular straight bottom of the pedestal like you guys see like all over that's all I kept seeing I'm like I want something with some dimension with some character and when I found this on Wayfair y'all I was like I have to have it come on Penny Penny come on mama so hold on y'all you say hi everybody so yeah this is the table it's finally here I'm waiting on the mirror so we're still waiting on that at this point, the reviews, a couple people that just got their mirror, the reviews were horrible. So I'm like, oh, scared. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go with styling this table. Do I want to do glam or do I kind of want to keep it as a more contemporary, modern vibe? So um i definitely want a high vase because you guys see that the chandelier is so high so i kind of want something that's like a little high i need something that's high but yeah so we're about to run to the store and see what we can find for this table but you guys i absolutely love this table i really do i love it and it fits perfect like it fits perfect it's not too big. It's not too small. And <clears throat> I pushed it back some so it's not directly in the middle of this room and this room because I wanted it to be strictly underneath the chandelier. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. Also, I'm in the process of looking for double doors. I have to send the double doors to my HOA and see if they approve the double doors. So if they do approve, we will be getting double doors, ladies and gentlemen. I am excited because I want to, honestly, I want double doors. So I just want to basically just take this whole door out and insert some black doors. So these are a couple doors that I have been looking at. I'm going to insert them in these clips. Um, I'm not sure if I want anything like this show a lot because of privacy reasons. I can always put like those little privacy, like little shelves that people put on there. But these are the doors that my husband and I have been looking at. But I'm definitely going to do black. Um, I'm still going to paint this door black because we probably won't get, we probably won't get doors probably until next year, honestly, because I really want to focus on the great room. So, yeah, but let's head to Home Goods. Hi, Mama. You should sure sitting up there like that. Penny goes to the groomer on Sunday. Did I go to the groomer on Sunday, everybody? Did I go to the groomer on Sunday? Because I need a haircut. Did I need a little haircut. Right, Penny? You need a haircut, Mama? Hi, Penny. Give me Paul. Give me Paul. Anyway, you guys, they fixed this. And it's coming back. Look at it. It's all coming back. The brown spots are coming back. I'm so irritated. They came, they fixed it, and now all the brown spots are coming back. So I don't know what they're going to do, but Toll need to do something. 
at this point. Or they need to just stain it this brown. But I don't want to stain it. I want to keep it white. So if you guys have any suggestions what I can do about these spots, they painted over it and it's still coming back. I don't know what to do. So, yeah, I need that help from you guys. We're here, guys. Let's see what they have. Oh my goodness, if I had a beach house, like an Airbnb, I would decorate it so freaking nice. Like, look at this and then have this, like, next to it, y'all. Oh my god, with like a little candle. And then look at this with this book. Oh, so neat. And this is pretty, too. They have some nice stuff in here. It's just, I can't find the things that I'm looking for. This is pretty, too. This is cute. So I found this. And then they have this. This well. That could kind of go in front of it. Also, they have one like this. So I could do. If I didn't want to do this short one. But I wouldn't do two tall ones. But I mean, this is not bad. But I feel like I'm. I don't love it, so I probably won't get it. I just want to hurry up and decorate the table. Y'all know how we get when something, we get something new, we want to like decorate it. That's where I'm at. I just want to decorate it. I want to bring it to life. <laughs> Look at this huge behind horse. Okay, so horse, the horse vibe is definitely in because it's everywhere. But I don't see anything, guys. Oh, guys, look at this. This is so pretty, but I need something higher. This is really cute. And then this is pretty, but I would need bigger hole. This is pretty. Look at these pictures. I wish they was like two of the same, because I can use these for the living room. But they're not. This is a cool picture. All right, so they have this picture, y'all. I don't know how I feel about it, though. <laughs> I did find a picture on Wayfair, but this is, like, a lot cheaper. But what do you guys think? So they have this one. And they have this one. I don't like that one. Well, I'm not going to say I don't like it, but not my twist. This is not really my twist either. So, I don't want to just get something just to get it. Like, I don't want to be like that. Oh, these would be so cute when I do my office because you guys know I'm doing, like, a colorful office. But this is so cute. Look at these bright colors. So cute. Look at this book. This will definitely go with the aesthetic of my office when I'm ready to do my office because I'm gonna do like I'm gonna buy a, like two artworks that's something like this, but not these colors. It's gonna be a vibe, y'all. This is cute. Alright, we're gonna return this. I, I, I didn't find anything here, so I'm just gonna return it and go back home. I don't wanna rush um, the foyer table because I want it to be grand, so. Turning this back. Alright, so I had to stop at Giants. Babe called me and told me to get some cookies, and he wants vanilla Hagen Dash ice cream, so here we are trying to look for it. So, I'm about to go home, shower, and me and him going to chill, watch a movie, and eat some ice cream. But where's the vanilla? I mean, they have vanilla beans. Is that the one he want? I want? I'd rather get a big one. I don't see the... Oh, there's a big one right here. $8.99 for some ice cream, y'all. This is ridiculous. Like, come on, y'all. It's crazy. Good morning everyone it is saturday saturday morning 
I just came back from the grocery store. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I just came back from the grocery store. It is probably around 8.15 right now. I got up at 7. I'm like, you know what? Let me go to the grocery store because I don't like to grocery shop on Sundays. I like my Sundays to be relax, relaxing. So usually Saturdays, the only thing that I have to wash is like my linen. I do a little bit of tidying up, so I probably tidy my room or something like that. But I really like to relax on Sunday to get ready for the work week, to get ready for the kids' school week. So um, usually on Fridays while I'm at work, I write out my list of what I'm going to cook throughout the week. And then Saturday morning, I'll go ahead and run to the market. And then tomorrow, I'll clean my calendar and write down all the um, dinner, the menu for the week so everyone can see what we're having. But yeah, uh, today is going to be a chill day. I want to share with you guys. I showed you guys the table, but now today we're going to try to style it different ways just so I know what I'm buying. I think because I don't know how I want to style the table, I wasn't I wasn't able to find anything in home goods because I don't have a vision in mind. And usually I like to have a vision of how I want something to look. That way I know what to buy. So that's what we're going to do today. I know I want cream. First I thought I wanted silver because of the mirror. But part of me think I should wait until the mirror come to see how I'm going to style it. So we'll see. We'll play with it today. I know I want like a candle on the table. I know I want a vase, a vase, like maybe two, a big one and a small one, and maybe a book, an open book or a closed book and put the candles on top. I don't want a lot, you know, I don't want a whole lot, so I don't know, but I am on my way home, I'll put this food up and then I'll talk to you guys later. So before I put this food up, I gotta tidy up this food. Mm -hmm. started the kids have swimming today i need to record my sunday reset video that's so we need to get up and get our life together and guess what i am wearing my pjs to do the sunday reset video because sunday reset and it's the truth i don't get dressed to clean so we are about to do that but first thing first i need to um change my sheets and I have everything set up. I have my tripod. Hold on, let me show you guys. All right, so I have my camera tripod and then this is my phone tripod. So this will be to record the Sunday reset video. And then I'll use my phone to do like behind the scenes so you guys can kind of see all that it takes to be a content creator, <laughs> the different angles and different things like that. I thought this would be fun, especially you guys. Hold on, let me flip the camera. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to make sure when you're about to record is your lighting. Lighting is very important when you're about to record a video. So, it's the first thing that you want to do. So I got to open this up over here. I got to open this area up, but...
All right, let's go. Ooh, I got to take that bun out. It was too heavy on my head. But anyway, um, we're about to start the Sunday Reset video so I can record. I'll probably pick up with you guys later. I do want to test out some like different vases on... Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get my sheets. I need to do this linen closet. I just need to organize this house. I just... <laughs> At this point, it's so hard when you're a working person. Like when you're working, when you're working and try to post content, and you really need to get your house in order, it's hard. It's definitely hard. I will, I would not lie and say it's not hard. So I need to really get some of these videos out. Like I need to organize this linen closet. I need to organize my kitchen cabinets that I've been telling you guys that we were gonna do. And you never did it. I can't find my oven. Oh gosh. My cleaning lady needs to get better. Hey, stay. I don't have the time or the patience. I'll tell you one thing, I will definitely appreciate I will really appreciate when she comes back. I'm kind of in the process of like want to look for another person, but I really like her and I trust her, you know. So I'm like I'm trying to be patient and wait, but at the same time, I really don't have the the time to be cleaning. All week I'm like ripping and running. And my weekends now I gotta clean. I'm still trying to do content. It's like real life over here. Real life. But yeah, all right. Let's get this. Sorry. Let's get situated, guys. So I'll pick up in a little bit. I will show you a little behind the scenes of me creating the Sunday Reset video. Bye. Hey guys happy sunday um i relaxed all day but if you guys check out my sunday reset video you will definitely see what i got into today but um it's currently 5 37 i'm literally editing the video so it could be up to you guys by seven on sunday just got out the bath just got finished um running everybody bath water i just got out the bath too Hold on, y'all. But I would insert clips of what I did today, but you guys were like, girl, do not insert, insert reinsert clips. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Because the last Sunday reset, I insert like what I did on that Saturday, and you guys did not like that. So if you want to see what I did today, watch my Sunday reset video. I'll link it up here for you guys. But yeah. Anyway, I am making salmon, white rice, and asparagus. Here's the salmon, so I'm about to take it out the oven. But let me go ahead and get my camera because I'm talking to you guys on the phone. And the quality sometimes sucks, so hold on. All right, guys. I know I look like Aunt your mama, but this is real life. This is real life. I don't look... I look random sometimes in my own house. All right, so this is done uploading. Now I have to upload it to YouTube. The good thing about like my weekly vlogs, you guys can always see where I leave off at on Sunday when I do like my Sunday resets. Right, Penay? All right, so let me just show you guys. I seasoned the salmon, so all I have to do is just put it in the oven i'm about to make this rice real quick i'm just trying to make sure i have this video up for on sunday for you guys this this be so stressful like because <laughs> sometimes it, the uploads can take an hour 30 minutes so hi sunny make sure you lotion up you left all your clothes down there but so let me just share this with you guys just in case 
I have a couple people who want to vlog. Oh, sorry. Want to vlog. So I use iMovie. I don't use anything special, guys. I honestly use something easy because I don't have time to complicate my life anymore. <laughs> sorry, complicated enough. But um, some people use. Where's the what is it called? Something pro I forgot what it's called, but it's a good one. Final Cut or Cut Pro or something like that. Something like that people use. That's really good. But this works perfectly fine for me. So I'm gonna name this vlog. Well, it's not even a vlog. It's like a little voiceover. Sunday reset. All right. So I'm about to put this fish. I was on a. I was in the process of doing my. My thumbnail, but my phone died. <sighs> this is about to go in the oven. Let me show you guys. Let me show you how to work. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven for like about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, I forgot my butter. Woo, don't wanna forget that. Hold on, y'all. All right, I added the butter. <laughs> I was about to say, we ain't got no butter. Isn't it crazy, like, as women, we have highs and lows? Like, one moment we feel like we have everything together, and then the next minute it feel like we're losing our ish. And I really think that comes with our house. Like, if our house is chaotic and need to be cleaned and organized, we feel stressed and overwhelmed. But I feel good. Laundry is done. House is clean. I relax today. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm meant to be a stay-at-home wife. Like, having a career is good and cool and all that, but I prefer to be a stay-at-home wife. Like, I, I can picture myself, like, waking up, um, getting my kids ready, dropping my kids off to school, coming home, going straight to the gym, you know, doing my little bit of chores, like, doing my cleaning and all that, throw a load of clothes in, because, you know, once you're home, you can stay on top of your clothes. I mean, stay on top of your clothes and stay on top of your house because my kids are in school. Now, it might be hard for people whose children are home with them. It's probably definitely hard, harder. Uh, but, yeah, I see myself. And I still would have my YouTube channel. Like, this is a part of me. So, I would still have, like, income coming in, my own income. And then, of course, my investments and stuff like that. But I'm telling y'all, like, I am speaking into existence. I posted on my Instagram, like, stay at home wife loading everybody like girl let me find out you put your two weeks in no i did not <laughs> but i'm speaking into existence like i am going to be able to stay home and i'm okay with not being a big youtuber like i don't i'm okay with that i don't have to be a big youtuber i'm okay i don't need to be a big influencer or i just i enjoy no pressure i enjoy being myself sharing with you guys trips and cooking and cleaning and decorating and different things like that. I don't have to be this YouTube guru type of person. And I feel like once you understand that your personality and um, what you bring to your channel is going to be different from every other YouTuber, and just enjoy the season that you're in, I think you'll you'll learn to not feel so pressured. Like I have to do this. I have to do this. You, it's your YouTube channel. You can do whatever you like on your channel. So. I just wanted to put that out there if anyone is feeling pressure or you feel like like it's becoming too much because sometimes I do feel like YouTube is a lot for me too. But then I have to remember I'm in control of my channel. I can post when I want to post, you know, so I just want to say. Can't post every certain day or certain time. That is okay. You, I mean, listen, consistency is key, but I feel like you have to do what you can do. Posting bi-weekly is better than not posting at all. Posting once a week is better than not posting at all. If you can't post two videos a week and you only can post one video a week, do that. Don't stress yourself out, y'all, because I was falling into being stressed with YouTube and Instagram because I felt like, you know, you guys know how I feel about Instagram, you know. I have a love and hate relationship with Instagram because I, I do feel like it's competitive you see the same things everyone is content creator down like nothing is real so um, and that's just my perspective on Instagram however I do feel like as me 
you know sharing my platform on youtube i connect with a lot of you guys on instagram so as bad as i want to like delete my instagram i probably won't because that's how i really talk to you guys you guys be in my dm i do feel like a lot of people be in my dm so if i do miss a message or i don't reply it is not intentional but sometimes it, it's a lot looking at so many different messages and I'm not a person that had my phone with me 24 seven. So I'm not constantly checking my phone. So I do want to put that out there and say, I do apologize if I missed any pictures or conversations or whatever you guys um, send to me. It's not intentional. Um, but if you need a break, take your break. Trust me. If I ever get to a point where I'm at a breaking point with YouTube, I'm going to always choose me first. So, I just want to say that because there's a lot of people struggling with YouTube. There's a lot. I get so many DMs asking how do I stay so consistent. And once I once I learn to just dance to my own beat, <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just be yourself. Post content that you enjoy so it's not a hardship. A lot of people like home update videos on my channel. However, I'm not going broke over YouTube. I'm not going to sit here and hurry up and furnish my house just so I can upload videos, home update videos. I'm not doing that. I'm moving at my own pace. I still don't have a furniture. I still don't have a great room set. I still don't have a dining room set. I still don't have a living room set, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Like this, I'm going to be here for a long time. I have no problems. I have no problem with taking my time and you should feel the same way. If you're starting a home decor channel or anything like that, Take your time. Don't feel like you have to rush for YouTube or Instagram or anybody. Do not go broke over Instagram, okay? I'm sorry, but do not go broke. Buy what's in your budget and do the best you can do. So that's all I have to say in today's video. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys on a more of a constant, conscious level. And so I, it was time, you know? You know how I used, I used to always have like our little talks? But I've been just so busy. But yeah. All right, let me finish cooking, guys. I'll talk to you later. All right, dinner is done. Dinner is done. I'll show you guys. Y'all wanna watch a movie tonight? Yeah. If you watch a movie, let me show you guys what I've cooked. Mahila's unloading the dishwasher, but here is the salmon. Oh! What happened? It looks so delicious. Oh, you got the rice and the spices. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Well, I'll show little clips if we watch a movie tonight. See you tomorrow. Babysitters don't leave. They sit. Baby leavers leave. Well, I need to come home right away. All right. Thank you, Amy. I definitely want to do cream on this table, but just for the video purpose, I wish I could like push you guys like back here, like here, but then the door have to be open and then Bugs is going to come in the house. So I want you guys to like see the rug and everything, but I might have to do it from the other side. What? Where did she go? So you guys can see like that. It looks so good, like as you enter the home. So, what I'll do is I'll style it and then bring the camera out here so you guys can see it from far away. But yeah, let's try this out, okay. shall we? Let me say this loud and clear because sometimes people be saying a lot of little slick stuff. This is only to see how big I want my vase. I am not going to put all black on this table. I already know I'm going to do like a nice cream color. So I just want to put that out there in case someone say, oh, why would you do black on black? This is not to style it. This is literally to just see 
um, how big of a base I need, okay? All right, so I just wanna share that with you guys because some people just, oh, child, you have too much to say, honey. Too much to say. Okay, so I think I would need a higher base because this is too low. Of course, I, I just can't get something that's gonna be too high. But I'm thinking, like right here maybe, or maybe I'll get higher branches. So, let me see what this looks like. And did you guys know that Pottery Barn actually have this vase and cream? Did you guys know that? Yep, they do. So first I want it like to be luxurious, but I kind of wanted to just say the whole contemporary vibe throughout the whole home. Like this goes with this room, this will go with that room. But So you can always just add a vase, a book. Let me bring you guys a little closer. Hold on. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I see. Okay. So we could do that, or we can even bring the candle in. Candles and book. I would definitely probably use black candles though. If I were to do that. So what you guys think? No candle, vase, book. Or we can style it. We have we can do something like this. This is the problem. I don't know how to install this table, so I don't know what to buy. Take this down, right? You can have this, like that. Hold on, I gotta get that other stuff upstairs. Hold on, y'all. Okay, guys. So we could do something like this, where we have tall and small, right? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like decorating is all about trying to rearrange and Trying to like really figure out how I want to style it. So I'm not, that's that's not given. So, okay, what if we switch out? And like I said, I wouldn't do a black base, but I need to figure out like how big of a base I need. So here, let's try this base that's in my room. See how this looks. And this give us a vision of a cream base. Minimalist has in the middle. 
What if I get like a huge vase? Nah, don't like that either. Hell no. <laughs> Absolutely not. The black looked better. Okay, what if we did a clear of these? Let me go get ooh. let me go get the glass face off. Out my vanity. Hold on. Okay. So I can buy maybe like a bigger vase, but it'll be glass. And then maybe I could do oh. Oh. maybe that. I do like how this was. I like that. And the book being open. I like that. I would have to probably look for some inspiration because I'm stuck. I'm definitely stuck on here. Send me some ideas to my DM. Um, because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm having like a creator's block or I just can't think right now. I'm tired because I just got off of work. But I don't know, y'all. I am on my way to the gym. Of course, my kids is move. being kids. All right, Mahalo, do not say move. Say excuse me. Oh, where are your baby? Show them the baby. All right, I'm about to drink my pre, pre workout. I do not feel like going to this gym, y'all. <laughs> oh, God. Why can't I just be naturally together? Naturally snatched. I can see why people get surgeries. Every man in my job be like, girl, you are skinny. I be like, to y'all, not to myself. Okay. All right, so we're going to do six to eight ounces of water. Carl, what are you doing? No. No, you cannot take this. Because you can't. I just told you that. Where is the six at? Oh, show them your baby. I did the hair. She did her hair so cute. My grandbaby finally getting cute, y'all. And she was hurting you a little bit. Be That's What's her name, Hyla? Penny. What's her name? Penny. That's the dog name. I know. She's the dog's daughter. So anyway, there. Here's my grandbaby. Y'all remember I showed y'all her in a couple vlogs back and she was looking crazy. I told you y'all her hair was crazy. Yeah. Penny needs to get cut. She did not make it to the groomer on Sunday. Okay, good night. Here, show my mommy, baby. Mom? No, no, no. You don't need... Go put it back. You're done eating. After no. 8 o'clock, you cannot eat no more. That's go put it back. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, help. Mm. Sorry. Help me, y'all. Help me. Oh, gosh. This is... I ain't gonna complain. I told myself I'm not complaining no more. I'm just gonna do what I gotta do and call it a day. I'm gonna do like half a spoon because I ain't trying to be. I hear my mom talking to the darn baby. 
Trust me, you ready for sleepy, sleepy? All right, I'm trying to be a gym rat. That's what I want to be. I want to be one of those girls that's like a little gym rat, you know? But uh, it's freaking hard when you have a full-time job. And then you got to come home, and then you got to cook, and then you got to take care of the kids, and then you got to eat right. Mm. Yes, I'm complaining right now. But I'm going to do this. Every time I stop, I catch myself. So. All right, we got our pre-workout. We're about to head to this gym. Oh, she about to smack go. me with a water bottle. My bad, sis. Go um, put your, your bonnet on. Go read your book. Go read your book. <coughs> All right, y'all. Peace. All right, guys. I went to the gym. I had to stop at... Um, Walmart real quick because the kids have ABC countdown so each day until school is over they have to bring in different stuff so I had to get like some games, flashlight beach towels some juices just for them for school, Cairo have tropical day Mahila have crazy hat day bubble day and some other stuff I'll show you guys the calendar once I get home but yeah happy Tuesday even though it's not a happy Tuesday today, because you wanna know why? This morning I got up to go to work and I had a flat tire. A flat tire. And I wouldn't even be so irritable, but the fact that two weeks ago I had a flat tire, had to get a brand new tire and pay for a realign, a realignment, and that was $500. This morning I wake up, I have a flat tire on the whole other side of the car. So I had to get a donut put on and now I have to go to the tire place. You know, I, I try not to say like a lot of personal stuff on here, but life is life in right now. Okay, it's lifing. I feel like I'm being punk. Oh, Lord, what is it now? My car won't even reverse. Oh my God. The car won't reverse. My husband probably put the darn donut on wrong. <sighs> and the appointment is at 11 o'clock. What is going on? Yeah, this is basically what's going on. I, I hit the garage the other day. Let me just tell y'all what's been going on in my life. I hit the garage the other day because this is a big car. I drive a brand new, well, it's not brand new. It's five years old, but it's a Ford. I would drive a Ford, right? Hit it because of the damn garage and then this. I can't even back out. I don't know why it's not letting me back out. Do you have to push a little harder on a donut? Oh, Lord. Anyway, to be continued. He talking about take the parking brake off. How was I supposed to know the damn parking brake was, brake was on? <laughs> Help me understand this. me late for my appointment because he never told me the darn parking brake was oh my lord was on help me guys help me dear lord please help me because i feel like i'm about to lose my everlasting mind Why it seem like when so many, like when one thing happened, then the next thing happened, then the next thing happened? Like, I don't know. I think stuff like this happened when God wants you to get back closer to him, honestly. He wants you to start praying. He wants you to start, like, and this is just my belief, y'all. I mean, you know, I don't really know, but I'm going on that. Hold on. I feel like. I don't really, um, 
I haven't really been praying like I used to, or I just started back trying to get back into it. <clears throat> like getting back into my devotion and my journaling and all that. But all right, y'all, I'll see y'all when I get back. Hey, friends. Hey, guys. Say hey, hi, Benny. I need to go to the groomer. I just woke up from a nap. Just picked Sam up from work. I'm about to cut me up some watermelon. And then I'm going to make the steak real quick. So we're gonna have for tonight for dinner, we're gonna have steak, baked potatoes, and some broccoli. Oh, Brussels sprouts. Remember Brussels sprouts? Yeah, steak, baked potato, and Brussels sprouts today. So that's what we're about to do. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut me up some watermelon real quick. What time is it? Oh, I took my watch off when I took my neck. Hold on, y'all. It is currently 2.58. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the steak on around like 3.30, but I'm gonna see, wash it, like wash it a little bit, season it, and then it'll be ready to um, go in the oven around 3.30. The kids usually get home around that time. But I hope this watermelon egg. Usually I don't like getting watermelon until The summer, but it's okay. All right, y'all. Let's go cook this food. All right, guys. I'm about to season the steak, and I'm just want to show you guys um, everything that I use. This hair. That's the only thing about braids. It gets in my way. So I like to use this Worcestershire sauce if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I like to add this on my steak. Just bring you guys over here a little bit. Do you have homework, Kai? Huh? Do you have homework? I can't. Kai, do you have homework? Go over your multiplication. Come on. I got it. It's like pulling teeth for these kids to do homework. Hold on. Sarah, right, go over your multiplication or your homework. Wherever homework you have. Sarah. Right. Alright, when the kids come knocking on the door, you're not going outside. Because I'm asking you to do your homework now before they come knock on the door. Hold on, y'all. This may be a little better. Yeah. What else did you order? Um, I hate this. So I this know. Got, this got me. So I had to talk to him like, well, I'm gonna Oh, you only ordered one thing. No, I got something else for you too. What should you mean order? I have to get it made. Like, well, you still have to order it. So I have to send him all my pictures, like um, all the like. Um, Samaya so designed her hoodie. You guys want to see? Hold on, y'all. Trying to season this steak. I'm gonna let y'all see her hoodie that she designed. So she's starting her clothing brand, and she also customized sneakers. So it's a little bare feet on it. Zip it up so they can see it. I gotta fix the zipper. I don't like how um wide it is. Mom, it's on the, on the face. It looks like super wide. See, like on the nose area. I don't like how. That and looks. why is it sticking up like that? Cause that's how that's how all um the are. And then mm -hmm. that's and then the back. And then top front. And she designed this and on then, her oh, and iPad. Then the little thing is a beer, if you can see. It's blurry, but I look a mess, but yeah. <laughs> I'm too high, but I'm too high. Okay, so I'm about to put this in the oven. Take Cairo to Taekwondo. And the dinner should be done. I'm making baked potatoes with this if I didn't tell you guys already. So that's what we're doing. Did I tell you guys I got my car fixed? I don't even know. Anyway, my car got fixed. Both my, one tire was wet, the other tire was dry rotted. So I had to get both my rear tires um, replaced. Cairo. 
All right, we'll go read. Come on, and go get ready for Taekwondo. Okay, guys, well, let me go get the peppers. One second. Okay, we're gonna close there. I gotta iron it. Oh, you know what? It's in the laundry. Hold on. I'll get it. So, remember I showed you guys this when I went to the grocery store, but I don't, have to, I don't be having time. <laughs> My time is probably short. So, I like to get it already cut up. Yeah, it costs a little bit more, but. I don't mind paying for convenience, guys. Like, I really don't. Like, people be like, oh, you can save money by doing this. Honestly, I'd rather just spend the money and don't be bothered with the hassle, honestly. If I have to, you know, so. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm about to take Cairo to his Taekwondo class. And then we'll be home and yeah. I'll show you guys once yeah, what the food look like once it's time to eat. Can, can we go to Rita's? Mahila wants to go to Rita's. For what? I have no We can go Friday. That's the last day of school. Not the last day of school, but to the weekend. Huh? Oh, you know what I did? I messed up. I forgot the little ones was for the kids and they don't like peppers on there. I'm, at the, I'm cooking some steak. But I forgot you guys don't like peppers. You are going to eat it. Mom, we're supposed to be eating chicken off garlic bread and broccoli. I know, but we had chicken yesterday, so that's why I didn't make the. <laughs> See, I told y'all the kids were going to buy the menu on the refrigerator. Isn't that chicken though? Tomorrow I'll make the chicken Alfredo. Huh? Isn't that chicken Goodness, this hair. No, this is steak. All right, y'all. See y'all in a little bit. All right, dinner is done. This is my husband's food, but I'm about to close out this vlog. I'm about to eat and chill out. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you.